On the breakfast, protests at the Unity Fountain in Abuja by civil society groups demanding that President Mohamed Buhari should sign the Electoral Act into law happened yesterday. And the former governor of Kano State, Rabi Musa Kwankwaso, has announced the formation of a third force under the aegis of the National Movement for Nigeria, or the National Movement, rather, in Abuja. Uh, but what will this third force be able to do to dislodge the two dominant political parties in the country in 2023? And as always, we will be looking through the national dailies and have an analyst join the conversation. A very good morning to you. It's uh, The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We're back for another two hours of robust, interesting conversations and analysis right here on Plus TV Africa. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Bopo. It's a beautiful uh, Wednesday. Yes, indeed. Uh, it, it happens, <laughs> mercy, sometimes that, you know, you forget the day of the week. It's oh, okay. It happens to me sometimes, you know. Um, but anyway, it's been quite interesting. Um, you know, yesterday... We had interesting conversations, um, and uh, today, uh, new developments and uh, new developments regarding um, what was said by some politicians. Some other politicians have replied them. For instance, we talked about uh, one of the trending issues uh, was that um, uh, the the one of the first presidential aspirants, Bola Metinubu, um, said something. Uh, Olusegun Obasanjo also said something that his generation should get out of the way, you know, so the younger people can can emerge. It um, me of a song. Oh, really? Which one is that? I can't say it because uh, the lyrics are not very clear. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Ah, <laughs> okay, interesting. So, um, but anyway, let, let's uh, get into our top trending segment. And um, uh, Tinubu's Get Dirty comments um, Nigerian youth to uh, return to NSAS campaign. You had a um, lot of, of, of people tweeting answers and it was trending all over social media um, after Tinubu's statement. But of course, Obasanjo had said something, but people refused to <laughs> allow that, you know, distract them. I mean, look at all the, the presidents who have been, or the heads of state, the five youngest heads of state in Nigeria's history. Um, you have uh, the likes of uh, 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 Motila Mohammed. You know, you have, uh, um, uh, what's um, uh, what's the name of him again? Uh, I'm trying to remember the particular, but Tunade Yagbo is there, Mutala Mohammed. You have even himself, um, Yakub Gowan mm -hmm. is also there as well. Um, you have uh, even President Buhari was president, I think, at 41. And before he became president at 41, he was a federal uh, a commissioner or what you call minister. And he had been an administrator, governor of a state. But for, for us and he was, this morning, he was a top military, military uh, oh, you know, sure. um, lead, uh, officer. Well, but for us this morning, we start off on the nose uh, on the fact that you have a teenage girl who has called out uh, another girl. We don't know whether the girl is actually a teenage girl, but the fact that she's a young person, I mean, quite very young. The issue surrounding this conversation is that she's too young. A lot of people would say, when I was in my, you know, 12, 14, 17, about this age, this was not my priority. So this teenage girl calls out Esther to leave her boyfriend alone because she's back. We, we quickly just, uh, I don't know if we have that audio right now and we can take that. But for me, it's, uh, you know, for me, this has been like a serious argument with the production team as regards this particular story because I feel like I don't know. So maybe this, um, with all of this, the reason why this is happening is because the older generation, the, the generation before now, will think that this is not a priority. Okay? Uh, usually, so she looks like she would be in her, she could probably be a 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So she is a teen. Yes. But we'll just quickly take, uh, you know, take a look at this uh, 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 Play, roll the tape, you know, as Kofi would like to say, and afterwards uh, we'll come back to continue the conversation. Just take a listen. Now I've come back to get my love back. And you, um, Esther, or whatever your name is, I don't care. I'm sorry, something. I'm back. And she just shifts for me. If you know you can shift for me, I'm gonna drag you away from that place. 
Okay, so so um, that's it. So you have this young, I mean, she's a teenager from it, not uh, with a, a particular specific age, but I think that she would be between the age or uh, ages, we're looking at uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, What did 19. she say there? Uh, she's there calling out another girl uh, named Esther to leave her boyfriend alone. And the big question here is, how did we get to this point, really? Well, um, um, I don't know what to say about about the situation. Um, you know, being a teen, it's it's um, it's uh, it's something that I I, th I think kids are just being kids, you know. And um, uh, people have come out on social media to say, you know, this is this is wrong. You know, why are children saying things like this? You know, but it's a like kids just being kids, basically. You know, children will always be children. Mm. That's all right. We'll just quickly move away from that. And uh, let's also look at another issue. The federal government has directed the filmmakers to drop money ritual content from their movies. Now, if you follow the, the trend, if you live in Nigeria, if you are in this space, then you will know that there seems to be a pattern. And that calls for a lot of concern. Whether or not you have uh, teens involved in ritual killings because of the head of you know, young boys or... Uh, killing people in the name of making money and so they call it uh, ritual i mean so you kill people ritual money or money rituals however you want to put it now the federal government in her knowledge is thinking that this is actually uh you know we, we should actually blame this on the fact that you have the film industry that's nollywood responsible for this particular act. So the federal government has directed filmmakers to drop money ritual content from their movies. Now you have the Minister of uh, Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, confirming that particular move during a visa to, uh, a media visa actually in the AFCT. Now, uh, the minister said that some suspected rituals killers have been arrested and they confessed that they learned the ritual killings act on social media, that's number one, and this has called for change by the federal government to, uh, you know, cleanse the entire system. That's the social media space. Now, another is that many have also blamed Nollywood for featuring money rituals in some of its movies, saying that these have, you know, they've directed. And because uh, you have the Nollywood putting out some of this content where you have uh, saying well, when you make, so there's a scene where you probably just go to the Babalawo, you bring a head and all of that, and then you make money. Uh, this has also been blamed for the spate at which you have a lot of people engaging, be it teenage people, uh, be young adults, whatever it is that you call it. But that's been on the increase. Constantly you have lives being lost and uh, all of this. So, but, but, but there's been a lot of argument with this particular one, talking about ritual killings, the content in Nigeria. Some people are saying, it's necessarily, this is really not the problem. The problem is a lot of people are jobless. A lot of people do not have a means, you know, to echo leave it. And so uh, we need to pay attention to the economic situation. We need to do the needful. It's like saying we want to stop, um, so you stop the acting, the mm -hmm. movie, but that doesn't necessarily stop arm robbery. So you, if you look at the Hollywood movies, some of these movies, they portray a lot of things, go on carrying their robbery, but does it really stop the real action? So if you stop the movies, does this stop the people from carrying out the acts? It doesn't necessarily. So we need to, and that's why I constantly have to say that if we have to address issues, we need to look at the root cause of it. We need to understand why people have actually moved on to it. Yes, we, we cannot also and negate what, the fact that... What's the root cause, in your opinion? No, so if you, if you really look at this, the issue right here is money. And then what do we use money to do? We use money to, you know, purchase. I mean, money is it's actually that tool where you use to make demands, you actually buy and all of that. And so at the end of all of this, you, what you see people do is people get into robbery because they want to probably feed and all of that. People do a lot of stuff. And so the big question here is, are we addressing the issue? So if the federal government says, we want to enforce a new law to ban money rituals in Nollywood, does that really solve the problem? Does that take away the issue of money rituals? You know, so so it's so interesting analysis from you, Mercy. People have been um, commenting on this and saying, you know, bearing their minds and opinions on this. Um, of course, you know that the uh, Minister of Information and Culture 
uh, Al Haji Lai Mohammed isn't particularly um, the most popular amongst young Nigerians right now. Um, the issue of uh, you know, ritual killings and all that um, has become pronounced amongst young people uh, recently. Um, so <clears throat> the young people are the ones who are at the center of this. And um, the, the reaction, the comments to Elijah Lai Muhammad have not been really favorable to him. You know, people saying, okay, um, how can you tell people who are using their money to run their business how to do it? This is just a movie industry. And maybe the industry, the movie industry, just um, mirroring what you have in society. You know, that's, that's what basically people are saying. So leave the movies alone. They're not the ones calling or asking people to go and back or get involved in rituals. Um, and some of those who also you know, criticized this statement by the government said that every movie that has a ritual um, uh, content, you know, or you know, acts out, you know, rituals in in some part of the movie, always has an ending that tells you that the rituals are not good. Mm. It always has an ending that tells you that doing bad is good. I haven't seen a Nigerian movie. What about rituals or about Queen of the Coast? What about Queen of the Coast? <laughs> oh, no, don't, don't remember me <laughs> you know, I, 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 think the way I don't think it, I've not seen anyone that ended with the people who went into these things See, succeeding. They always lose. Coffee. You know, someone will come with a Bible <laughs> and then an angel will drop from heaven. You know, and, I mean, these new ones don't do that. All these banky doubly are this one. And um, uh, what's the name of that other guy? I, I the Yoruba Dimon guy. You know, all this. They don't, but the days of the other guys, they used to do. You know, kind of your, kind of your, and and co. You know, Mama G and co. You know, but the, you know the way the Bible, an angel fall, fire will strike the demon. He say, Ah, now I'm dying. I have died. You know, but 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 we don't have any. You yeah. know, so so anyway. So so but 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 Kofi, you need to also understand where all of this is coming from. I don't want to talk about Nollywood. They're doing very great. You know, no, but well, I think yeah, the Nollywood yeah. is evolving. But, but the ones one. of yes, you know, we don't see those things again. Where someone just no, drops, but it's still there. You see so, lightning, so it's been categorized. You know. If you look at, if you follow the films, mm. there are some oh. movies that have been put out in the cinema. The cinema is okay. Yes, it's so nice. There's a ones. lot of yes, and over time, right. this is what has been going on. We cannot negate the fact that these would probably have contributed. We're not taking that away, so there's a possibility, there's a plus on that. Um, okay. But necessarily, probably, the argument that's would be probably it's a hyper because I mean, I haven't so, seen the likes of the immediate actor. I don't know whether he would want to dress in red and black and green, you know. But, I don't know if but, you get it. I'm saying that yeah. if, if you have, if if you follow, if you've been following Nollywood mm -hmm. and the content that they put out or the Recent, chunk out recently, not recently, okay. Prior to this time, okay. prior to recently, okay. Okay. you will find out that the content has always been about it. And then the spin, like a category, so mm -hmm. you have the epic movies. Mm -hmm. And it feels like some of the epic movies would, you know, tell you about all of the juju stuff. And uh, me, I'm still questioning how. But, but have you seen anyone? I don't know have how. Have you seen anyone? You know, let's say it's kind of your kind of for instance. <laughs> eh? And, um, you know, sorry I'm using your name, kind of But have you seen any one of those movies that ends with the people who are involved in the Money rituals winning or you know excelling. It's also in the movie right yeah they but always people don't pay attention to it people do they watch to the end no, so and they, they celebrate but, but they, they watch jubilate. to the end but it, it doesn't really matter what the end is it's what they get uh, uh, so uh, it's uh, what uh, they see uh, because usually in the yes. films you get to see that when they probably use some part of their bodies as sacrifice and then they begin to get monies, you know, monies will start coming out in the house. I don't know where, how this narrative was gotten. I don't know how yeah. real this is because mm -hmm. I constantly have questioned. I am still asking till today, how does that really work? Does that really but, give... But, but if, because if, if, if you, you look at, to be <coughs> re realistic, <coughs> I'm sorry, Kofi. Yes, 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 if yes, you yes. look at it, if we look at all of the... Recently, you have Forbes putting out a list of people. I haven't really seen anyone saying that, that, that because there's a way money works. Money works if you're rendering service, okay, the whole you're producing top something. People, you've no, not no, seen no. anyone who is. Yes. Uh, so, any, any, so the any way. Have a list at all. <laughs> I saw your status. No, you but, but it, the way yeah. money works is you have to render a service. You probably have to be. Mercy, I have a question for you. Producing. I have a question. If, if you want to preach against, do a movie against um, uh, maybe. Maybe the kind of content is put armed up. robbery, for instance, armed robbery, or you want to do a movie against uh, prostitution, or you want to do a movie against sexual trafficking, you understand, or you want to do a movie against uh, unprotected sex. You know, when AIDS was new, remember that we used to watch movies, or you want to do a movie against teenage pregnancy. Remember when teenage pregnancy was a thing? 
It, you know, it is still a thing. You no, know, but then nobody was afraid. Now, I don't know whether they, the teens are aware of it like we were aware. You know, if you're pregnant, then it's almost like the world has come down. You understand? You cry. So all those movies, you know, preaching against teenage... We don't see people preaching against teenage pregnancy anymore. You, can you do such a movie without acting, showing someone who got pregnant as a teen? So, so this is no. You know, it's a simple answer. No, can, can, you can't. Can you, can you do a movie point. against against um, human trafficking? You know, without showing so the someone Nigerian who was government, trafficked. Can you? So, do, can so, you, can so you the Niger, This is the premise I come from. The Nigerian government is thinking that the content has been chunk, chunked out or been put out by Nolly, Nollywood. Yes, Nollywood is influencing you know younger generation and yes. a lot of people I, but i asked you a question a I asked, I asked a question which you are not answering i said can you put out a movie that speaks or preaches against maybe uh um drug drug abuse without showing somebody who involved in drug abuse so it, it depends on the genre it depends on where i'm coming from no no no, so, no, I, no let's I, talk about a contemporary movie say no to drugs right mm. or let's preach against rape or or abuse of women and girls Mm? Mm. Can you, the social issues, can you put out a movie against drug abuse without an, um, depicting someone who was... So movies was, are stories. That's number good, one. Good. We need so, to so, understand. So can you... Can you I, I, don't, can I, don't you, want, I don't want you to put me in that box. No, I'm, I'm trying not to be in that question. box. No, I, I'm, I I'm answering your question, yes, but I don't want yes. to be in a box. No, it, it's a question. You're not answering it. No, I am answering it. You want a yes or a no answer, and I can't give you that. Okay, so you're refusing to answer it. The <laughs> no, answer is no. If you want to... You know, you want to show effectively show uh, young people that drug abuse is wrong. You know that you know they should stop buying loud. How do I know about loud? Uh, One day I came to Niru here, here mm -hmm. Niru, for an event, and someone came up to my car and was selling it to me. They've done that a couple of times to me. Okay, all right. But the police don't know that they are selling loud on Niru. They don't know. There, there might be Let's leave that for another day. Let's leave that for another day. If you want to tell our young people not to take loud or to take uh, codeine or to take cocaine or to take crack or whatever um, it or, is, or, or crystal meth, which is everywhere, I don't now. know that one. Crystal meth, meth, they even have a local name for it in Purumiri, I think it's called in the southeast. People are going crazy, I'm mad about it. You want to tell young people you have to show effectively, we all did drama in school, you know, so show somebody who went, who went into it, took it, and then their life just went derailed. And maybe they were helped and they came and said, ah, I shouldn't have taken this thing or see my life is better. Now, these movies are teaching and preaching. They move preaching against ritualists, showing you at the end. I've not seen anyone that the ritualist or the guy who was doing the blood money was, was the winner at the end. He, oh, they always lose out. At the end, they're showing you what's the moral of the story. Tales by Moonlight, what's the moral of the story? That, oh, um, uh, Richard Osifo, or Kanayo, or Kanayo, so I'm going back there again, went to do blood money, and at the end of the day, he, he died. So blood money is no good. That's it. That's it. So if people are, are, are not listening to that moral, then, so, you know, how, so, uh, what I'm saying is this here. We, we have a, a government that constantly misses the issue. And the major issue is that the major people who are engaged in ritual killings in this country are people in high places. True. They are people in high places. And if, if it's, it's, it's just like the problem of cultism. They come on TV, stand and talk and shout and say and enact laws. Even sometimes they both send the laws the laws are members of, of cults and secret societies. And so they just say these things. So if you want to go after those who are funding ritual killings in this country, you start at the top because that's where they are. So, that's where so, they are. so it brings, so, it brings so us who, back who, to... Who is, who, is, who is fooling who? Why is it that during election period we have an increase in ritual killings? People's children being abducted, babies being killed. Why is that during elections these things increase? Why? Please, let, let, let's stop deceiving ourselves. Let's, let's move on. You know, so like I, I rightly mentioned, uh, okay. it's more like chasing the shadows. Like we have rightly said, we have the issue of inflation. We have the fact that a lot of people are jobless. There's a lot that needs to be done. But we cannot also take out the fact that, yes, there might be one or two influence. I mean, there might just be a moral. You probably have a story. The truth is people actually listen to what they want to. People actually practice what they want to do, and that's what it is. So but, like but, you, you yes, have mentioned yes. that in the Tales by Moonlight, when you have the Tales by Moonlight, 
There's a story that's been put out. Movies are actually stories, and it's a reflection of what happened in society. So if you look at Hollywood, over time, a lot of people have criticized the uh, Nollywood industry and saying, oh, how come you, you constantly just put out the fetish stuff, and you know, this is the kind of story, somebody poisoning somebody. It's just a reflection of what's going on, and that's what these people put. So you have the nonfiction and the fiction stories. And usually, mostly you have the fact that these producers, these directors, these content providers that put out what's actually happening. If you look at Nollywood, have you ever had a time where they say, oh, let's you know, stop the use of gun? Gun issue, gun control is a big issue in the United States, and that's a, an issue. But we have never seen, um, we've never come so, to a point so, where you have so, a government so, saying, so, oh, we need to take out yes, it. It's yes. like stopping... It's like saying we can stopping, go, we can you go say you want to stop one, the uh, content. I know our producers are asking us to move on, but we, maybe we should just ask one <laughs> to continue. But you know, you know, you know, um, society is, is dynamic. Um, we, we can't, you can if, if, if you narrow down the problem to just one sector and you just stick to that, you know, um, then, then you're not going to move forward, you're not going to solve the problems. The problem is this, that the moral fabric of our society has, has been, has gone down, okay, has been eroded. And one of the things that has eroded the moral fabric of society is the the um, the thirst for money, the belief that you must have the, the most money at all costs. You must get rich at all costs. All right? And and it's been fueled by politicians. It's been fueled by those who are in leadership, who steal the nation's money and also blow it in our faces. You have one politician who's moving in, on the road in the convoy, you know, and, and all that. So, so it's about money. People want money. You see, the, the, the Igbo traders today who have shops will tell you that they can't even put the young people in their shops anymore. Because the young people who normally will come to the shops as apprentices, mercy, you know, do not want to stay in the shops because they don't believe that that will give them quick money. They want quick money. All right? Now, how did, how did the young people get exposed to having quick money, fast money? These are the values that we have taught, taught them. You know, these are the values you've taught them. And even if Nollywood stops producing these ritual movies, it won't stop. It's actually about money, greed. We want money. We want to have big cars, drive flashy cars, have five phones, live in big houses, because everything in this country is big. You know, so the, the, the authorities, especially the National Orientation Agency, Ministry of Culture and Tourism, and the government at whole, they need to start, you know, reorientating the country, you know, and, and having a values revolution. That's, that's, that for me, is, is the answer. You know, and, and I do agree, the movies have a role to play, but this is not the approach. Well, we, we have to, you know, take a break now, and that's the much we can take on Top Trending. When we return, we'll be looking at the national dailies and, of course, uh, talking about the big stories on our papers this morning. I guess we'll be joining that conversation. Please stay tuned.